This week at ICMA in Milan, Italy, Suzuki announced the all-new V-Strom 1050 XT and V-Strom 1050. Suzuki's self-proclaimed master of adventure was heavily influenced by Suzuki's iconic DRZ Desert Racer and DR Big. With new vertically stacked rectangular LED headlights and a in 2020, the V-Strom 1050 XT has a slew of new features. Some of the biggest are the new Euro 5 version of the flexible 90-degree V-Twin engine, producing 107.4 PS, or 79 kilowatts, which is a 7% increase over the previous generation. And a new ride-by-wire throttle with three selectable engine modes and three-mode traction control system. The flagship V-Strom 1050 XT gets new Suzuki Intelligent Ride System, SIRS, which features a full suite of electronics including inertial measurement unit, IMU, lean angle sensitive ABS with two settings, linked brakes that can detect and adapt to load and inclines, plus hill hold control and cruise control. Alright, let's talk about engine and performance. The new Euro 5 compliant 1037cc 90 degree free twin engine in the V-Strom 1050 XT puts out more power than the outgoing V-Strom 1000, with peak power up 7% to 107 PS, while maintains its easy to use flexible character and strong linear drive. This is achieved with a ripper filled intake and exhaust cams, with increased lift duration and less overlap. Twin plug heads remain, along with lightweight three-ring type forged pistons. A new radiator increases cooling capacity by 15%, and there's a new oil cooler. A slipper clutch aids smoother downshifts and lighter lever action. Alright, let's talk about the chassis. The V-Strom 1050 XT's chassis is a twin spar aluminum frame mounted to an aluminum swing arm. It's lightweight, compact, and narrow, making it easy for riders to manage in all situations. Its slim design allows riders to get their feet down comfortably when stationary, and contributes to the V-Strom's agile handling. It's suspended by 43mm fully adjustable upside down forks from KYB. The rear shock is preload and rebound dampling adjustable. Front brakes are radially mounted Takigos, by, uh, biting twin 310mm disc for dependable stopping power. A tapered handlebar is rigid and lightweight, with ergonomic considerations taken into account when riders are both sitting and standing. New footrests have a tougher design and make it easier to stand when off-road. Wheels are lightweight DID aluminum, wire-spoked rims with a 19-inch front and a 17-inch rear for dependable performance on a variety of surfaces and in different riding conditions. They wear Bridgestone Battleaxe Adventure A41 radial tires. Now, let's talk about utility on the big bike. Careful consideration was given to practicality during development of the V-Strom 1050 XT. There's a height adjustable seat, plus a lower option available as an accessory for further adjustment, and an extensively wind tunnel tested height adjustable screen that can be adjusted without the need for tools up to 11 different settings. A new multi-function instrument cluster presents all required information on a full LED screen using a clear and intuitive layout. A USB sublet situated on the left of the instrument cluster allows for easy charging of electronic devices, plus a 12-volt DC outlet is located under the pillin seat. Further aiding practicality is the slim fuel tank with a 20-liter capacity, giving a range of over 250 miles or 400 kilometers between a Phillips based on fuel consumption of 57.65 miles per gallon or 4.9 liters per 100 kilometers. A center stand, hand guards, and engine bars plus integrated luggage mounts that make for easy fitment and removal of all panniers add more practicality as standard in the V-Storm 1050 XT. All right, let's talk styling. While unmistakably V-Storm, the new design is thoroughly modern take on the styling of the legendary DRZ race bike and the DR Big production machine. The beak, now synonymous with adventure bikes, was first seen on the DRZ, and the new design further highlights the association but with a more aggressive and standout image. The shape of the fuel tank, too, apes the design of the DRZ. The color options of the V-Strom 1050 XT in particular pay further homage to the Desert Express and highlights Suzuki's rich racing and adventure heritage. It comes in a similar orange and white to the original DR Big, while a yellow version links to Suzuki's motocross and off-road pedigree. The hand guards, which come as standard, are redesigned and are more angular and rugged while the mirrors are also new. Careful thought went into the finish of the V-Twin engine, with new bolts completing a look that sees the cylinder heads, clutch cover, alternator cover, and water pump case finished in a classy bronze. Completing the striking new looks, a new vertically stacked rectangular LED headlight, plus LED tail lights and an LED indicators. All right, on to electronics. The V-Strom 1050 XT is equipped with a comprehensive electronic package and uses the new Suzuki Intelligent Ride System, SIRS, which is aimed at enhancing everything from rider comfort 
to performance and practicality. A new ride-by-wire throttle delivers a natural and linear feeling, while slow speeds riding is aided with a more stable idle. The ride-by-wire throttle is part of a wider controlled area, CAN, an interconnected information network that replaces standard wiring, with the benefit of being fewer wires and faster data transmission. Also part of that network is a new six-directional inertial measurement unit, an IMU from Bosch. This compact unit monitors pitch, roll, and yaw based on lean angle and acceleration. Information from the IMU helps govern Suzuki's updated motion track brake system, which includes a lean angle sensitive ABS. The system also automatically applies pressure to the rear brake to help control de deacceleration when front brake pressure rises to a certain degree. The system supports the rider should they suddenly brake mid-corner, helping them to continue on the intended line with minimal kickback on the lever. Riders can select from two ABS modes depending on the surface and riding conditions. The V-Strom 1050 XT's motion track brake system also includes slope-dependent control, which optimizes pressure across the front and rear brake to maintain control and avoid rear wheel lift under heavy braking downhill and load-dependent control, where the ABS unit constantly learns changes in deacceleration through the input of hydraulic pressure as the load increases or decreases. When riding with luggage or with a pillion, the system remembers the optimal relationship between the deacceleration and hydraulic pressure. This system also features hill hold control, which means the brake is automatically applied when stopped on an upward slope to prevent rollback and aid easier starting, especially when laden with pillin and luggage. And rider comfort during long distance touring is further taken care of with addition of con cruise control. A three mode traction control system replaces the previous two mode system. It can also be turned off. Riders can also select from one of the three engine modes, which offer throttle response while still delivering the same peak power. The new V-Strom also gets the latest version of Suzuki's low RPM assist and easy start function. Now, let's switch from the XT to the normal V-Strom 1050. The V-Strom 1050 shares many of the features of the flagship V-Strom 1050 XT, but with some differences to enable a lower price. The V-Strom 1050 shares the same engine and chassis platform as the XT model, but replaced spoked wheels with cast aluminum items. Whilst giving the same three-mode traction control system and three selectable engine power modes, the V-Strom 1050 loses the Suzuki Intelligent ride system and its cruise control and motion track brake system with linked brakes, hill hold, slope, and load control and switchable ABS modes. The DRZ-inspired design is finished in either white and black or gray and black color schemes. The LED taillights are finished with red lenses instead of the clear finish of the XT, and the LED indicators are swapped for more traditional items. The mirrors are also changed. It also loses the standard fit engine bars, center stand, hand guards, and lower cowlings of the XT. But with such a naked bike, thank goodness Suzuki makes genuine accessories to fill out the gap. A comprehensive catalog of genuine Suzuki accessories will be available for both models, including heated grips, side stand extenders, aluminum and plastic luggage kits, plus two tank bags, sump guards and engine bars, fog lamps, mirror extenders, and decal kits. As for availability, the new V-Strom 1050 XT and V-Strom 1050 are due to arrive in authorized Suzuki dealerships in the spring of 2020, with prices yet to be announced. The 2020 Africa Twin will start at 14300 in the States, so I would rager that the V-Strom 1050 XC will be right there with it. Now, let's wrap this video up. What are your thoughts on Suzuki's big off-roader? Are you a fan of the Beak? The retro colorways? Do you think this will give KTM and Honda some competition? Let me know this and any questions you may have below in the comments. That's all I have for you right now. Go out there and ride safe.